In today's video guys, I'm bringing you the most overpowered shotgun in Modern Warfare after the patch 1.20. This shotgun is literally a one-shot kill. It's so insane. Anybody can go ahead and use this shotgun to rack up loads of kills, especially on shipment because it's a close quarters map. Make sure to watch the whole video throughout guys so you know what perks I use as well as attachments on my 725 shotgun class loadout. Hey guys, it's the Anonia. If you are new to my YouTube channel then I upload mainly Call of Duty news on my YouTube channel as well as giving you the best loadouts to in modern warfare as well as general tips and tricks on how to get better at the game so if you enjoy watching call of duty content then this youtube channel is the place for you all right guys let's not waste any more time and let's dive straight into today's youtube video and i'm going to show you the best attachments and the best perks to use with the 725 shotgun in modern warfare now first of all guys before we dive straight into the class loadout i just want to say if you are not using the 725 shotgun then you are missing out because this is the most overpowered shotgun in modern warfare and no other shotgun in this game Game compares anywhere near to the 725. The 725 being the most versatile in the shotgun class. Seeing as its range and damage is so insane, you are seriously missing out if you are not using this gun in Modern Warfare. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with the tacticals and the lethals as I usually do in this best class setup series. I always like to start with the tacticals and lethals because I tend to stick with the same ones throughout all my class setups. And the tactical being stim. So I like to use stim because whenever i rush around the map in modern warfare and especially on shipment guys you are like literally always being shot at and especially with the amount of people that chuck explosives around in this map then having a stim is really effective just to quickly heal yourself and to get back into the gunfights in shipment in any map really in modern warfare like i said guys whenever you're using a class with a shotgun or with any russian class like smgs as well then having stim is essential to get more kills because when you're rushing around maps then you're bound to get into a lot of gunfights and you need to heal quickly from them so you can move on to your next gunfight so that's the reason why i always stick with stim as it always helps me out and it helps me to get the most kills as well bear in mind guys you could also equip a stun grenade flash grenade if you fancy it but i tend to stick with stim um so if you want to copy my class loadout identically then go ahead that's fine but if you want to change a few things to suit your own play style then you can also do that as well all right guys so with the tactical out of the way let's move on to the lethal and that's being the c4 now everyone literally uses the c4 in modern warfare now because it's just a lot easier than a grenade and i find it to be a lot more powerful than a grenade as well yeah like i said the explosive range on the c4 is way better than the grenade and also when you throw the c4 in the air you can double tap square and blow it up straight away but with the grenade you gotta wait around and cook it up a bit before you throw it uh, so you time it correctly but with the c4 you don't have to waste any time and you can just chuck it in the air and blow it up straight away killing all those enemies in front of you okay guys so with the lethal and the tacticals out of the way let's move on to the perks of this class loadout so beginning with perk one guys i have gone with the eod only because with a shotgun like i said you're up close and personal with enemies and you're always going to be in where all the gunfights are so you tend to be in the areas where people like to chuck grenades as well as c4s so having the eod will help a lot especially from c4 damage and the grenade damage so you don't have to worry about that as much so then you can focus rushing in on your enemies without any problems from explosives i've also also chosen EOD on this class loadout because I tend to play on shipment all the time and where I would usually use cold blooded I find it that not many people will be scoping down their guns in shipment so EOD would be more beneficial because that's all that happens in shipment is a bunch of explosives going off and kill streaks as well and it's also just a fast paced map so I would benefit more from using EOD anyways with perk 2 guys I have stuck with ghost being the trusted perk that it is and it's also undetectable by UAVs radar drones and half be sensors so all that good stuff and i love using ghost and i think it's a really good perk to use but if you fancy some other perk then go ahead and use it but i do highly recommend using ghost when it comes to warzone and moving on to the final perk of this class loadout being perk 3 i have equipped battle hardened and what this does is it reduces strength of enemy flashes stuns emps and gas effects and also you're immune to snapshot grenades now perk 3 being the one that i tend to change when i jump from multiplayer to warzone so in multiplayer i like to use battle hardened and then if I feel the need to switch it would be to use in tune up to reduce the revive time by 25% in warzone as I find that to be really handy so I either use battle hardened or tune up you can pick between those two or you can pick anyone yourself but those are my recommendations so moving on to my second 
legendary weapon, guys. Now, in this gameplay, you saw me using the Renetti Akimbo. Now, I have already a best class setup video on my YouTube channel showing what I use on the Renetti, and that was without the Akimbo, so I need to bring a new class loadout video using the Akimbo on the Renetti, because as you all may know already, the .357's pistols Akimbo have been nerfed, and now I find the Renetti Akimbo to be the next best thing. And in the gameplay, guys, you can just see how strong the Renetti Akimbo is, so I will have to definitely bring a new updated video on the Renetti Akimbo class setup. Okay, guys, so moving on to the main part of the video where I cover the 725 shotguns attachments, the best attachments to use to get the range on the shotgun, to get the damage, and to get the overall power in getting those one-shot kills. Okay, guys, so for the muzzle and the barrel, I have absolutely nothing on the 725 shotgun. So moving on to the laser, guys, I have the TAC laser equipped, and what this will do is it is a high-power 5 milliwatts tactical green laser improves your accuracy while aiming down the sights exposes position when active that's the only negative you get with using this tack laser is whenever you aim on your enemies it gives your position away because they can see the beam of the laser looking at them but the good thing is guys the pros definitely outweigh the cons being just the laser visible to enemies and the pros being the aim down sight speed increased the aim instability increased and the aim walking steadiness increased as well and all those three key points are very important when it comes to using a shotgun. Okay guys, so the next attachment I have equipped on the 725 shotgun is an optic, and the optic that I use is the Cronan LP945 Mini Reflex. Now, I have tried this class loadout without an optic attached to it, but I found that when I used the optic, it just made my aim down sight speed a lot faster, and it was just easier to lock onto my enemies, pinpointing them, because that's very crucial when using this class loadout, because if you not pinpoint onto your enemy, you will miss your shot, and it will not hit or affect the enemy at all, and there's only two bullets in each each round of the shotgun so there's no room for error and you got to make sure that you get those two shots off on target okay guys so for the stock and the perk sections of the attachments on this gun I have absolutely nothing so moving on to the guard section of the class loadout I have the forge tack steady grip equipped and this is a heavy duty ergonomic guard that keeps the gun stable while aiming and the pros you get with this attachment on guys your aiming stability increases as well as your aim walking steadiness which is huge bonuses while using the 725 shotgun and the only con you get is the aim walking movement speed but earlier on one of the attachments increased the aim walking movement speed so it evens it out a little bit okay guys so for the ammunition section of this gun loadout i have chosen the slug rounds which is the only option there to pick from and what the slug rounds does is it increases the damage range and it stops you from getting hit markers but the huge con you get from using slug rounds on the 725 shotgun is the damage radius is impaired but like i said it's very handy to have the slug rounds on because if your accuracy is good enough then you won't get any hit markers therefore it'll be easier to drop your enemies a lot quicker as well okay guys so moving on to the last attachment on the 725 shotgun be in the under barrel and i've chosen the merc foregrip now, the Merc foregrip is an extended foregrip, reduces vertical recoil, and provides a better hold for raising and lowering the weapon. And the pros you get with this attachment on, guys, you get better recoil control while using the 725 shotgun, and your aim down sight speed is increased, so whenever you're rushing around the map, and you, need, and you need to bring up the shotgun really fast to aim in on your enemy and to shoot them, then this attachment helps with that. But the only con you get from using the Merc foregrip is your movement speed is a little bit slowed down, but the overall mobility of this weapon is not affected, and you can still rush around the map quickly so before you click off the video guys if you want to see more call of duty modern warfare content and there's playlists below this youtube video in the description below and also an easier way to access my playlist is by clicking the video card in the top right hand corner of my youtube videos also guys i am doing a giveaway as soon as my youtube channel hits 100 subscribers where the winner will receive a 20 pound gift card of their choice so make sure to subscribe and turn the bell notifications on as well to join the ghost army on this youtube channel and make sure guys to share this video around with your friends and your family so we can get this youtube channel to 100 subscribers a lot faster don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it as well as leaving your comment down below this youtube video giving your overall opinion on my 725 shotgun class setup so that's it guys it's been the unknown and i'll see all you ghosts in my next video Ta-da.